we will be taking you through a couple videos highlighting the Design Collaboration Pro tools. I will be using Revit 2025 for these examples. Here on my screen, I've logged into my accautodesk.com account. This is where my projects are hosted and I'm signed in with my user ID in the top right corner. If you are familiar with the Construction Cloud, this is a web-based product that allows multiple functionality for collaboration and hosting project data. First thing that I want to do is open my project environment. You might have heard of different modules within the Construction Cloud, such as design collaboration, model coordination, and even extending tools such as build and takeoff. All of these modules cannot be used without the docs module. Here you can see I have a folder structure. These are all designed and set up with different settings such as permissions and different views for different users. This is the base setup which will allow us to use other functionality such as the ones that I'll be taking you through today. I'm going to be showing you how to set up teams using the swim lanes in design collaboration and also how to save your model as a work shared model. For any users that access Revit, Civil 3D, and Plant 3D, you can now host your models in the cloud and access them by more than one member at the same time. I'll be using the examples of Revit as I've mentioned. However, for any of the Revit users, you know how difficult this process or time consuming it can take when you are working from a physical server. Issues such as long wait times, sync times, or even being able to access your model when you're not on the office. So now you can host your model as a cloud, as a cloud file and access it from wherever you are. This makes the collaboration and speed of projects increased overall. So for the example that I will be using is going to be my site engineer folder. I'm going to be uploading a model here and I'm also going to be showing you the differences of creating it as a uh, work shared model. Now at the moment, what I have highlighted here is a cloud model. That means that this model is visible uh, through ACC and through Revit. However, only one member at a time can access the file. Now this might be fine. This might be sufficient for your team. However, for our busier uh, organizations that require you know, more than one member to access the file, this is going to speed up that process and also ensure that the correct members are able to work on the model at the same time. So in order to run through these settings, you will need to be an account admin or a project admin. If you don't have the correct permissions, this would be the opportunity to speak with one of those uh, team uh, roles and allow them to enhance your permissions. And this will allow you to control your project environment. So from here, I'm going to be using my module selector in the top left corner and I'm going to be navigating to design collaboration. Again, your docs environment needs to be set up in order to be uh, using the swim lanes. And the reason for that is I'm going to expand these three dots at the top. And this is going to display my swim lanes. And you can see here, I have my site engineer swim lane. Now, the way that I was able to set this up was by accessing the settings tab in the left hand side. If you don't have access to the settings, this is a clear indicator that you are not a project admin. By selecting this uh, tab here, I will be able to come into the background settings and that is what controlling what members can view and what they can see within this section. So in order to create a team, you will want to use the option to select an existing folder. When I select this folder, I can expand and view what I have stored in my docs area. Now you can see that there are no teams listed because I have them already set up here in the background. Now that my folder is connected to a swim lane, I could change this name if I would like. We always advise that you keep it the same because it allows um, for less confusion. I know that this 005 site engineer folder is 
exactly the same folder that's listed in my docs area. You might want to change this just to view as site, but again, whatever works best for your project environment. In addition, you will see some functionality such as team colors, again, different ways to identify your teams. You might have multiple disciplines under one roof, or you might be working with external team members. Either option, you would still be able to follow these steps in order to collaborate amongst the teams. So now if I go back to my home on the left hand side, and I go back to expand my team, I can see that I will have a node on the swim lane that is showing the file that I have published. Just a few minutes ago, I showed you that cloud model. This is accessible by one member at a time. Here on the swim lane, it's making that visible and placing a timestamp so that I could reference back to from the start of the project to the very end. Now, this is only the first step. I will want to create that as a work shared model. So I'm going to be opening my Revit. You might be familiar with these example files. The Snowden Towers is sample files from Revit 2025. Now, firstly, in order to access those uh, models, you will need to use your Autodesk Projects tab on the front page. This will allow you to connect to files that you have on the web. Now I've navigated to my account hub on the top, and then I've scrolled to my project environment. This allows me to view that site engineer folder that we just had a look at. Again, this is also connected to the team on the swim lane. So I'm just gonna open my model now here. Again, it's also showing the cloud indication uh, that we saw on the web version. So now that I have my model open, there's a couple of settings that I can uh, take a look at. The first option is on the Collaborate tab. The Collaborate tab will have some additional settings, such as Publish settings, uh, one that is uh, slightly grayed out at the moment, but this is called Reload the Latest. When we are working collaboratively on a file, we will be able to use the option to highlight the changes that are being actively done in the model. If you are familiar with Worksets, Worksets is a functionality that allows you to, to divide one model into sections by the different elements or by different layers, sorry, levels, depending on how your model is set up. So these are all functionality that will allow you to collaborate within your Revit model uh, seamlessly dividing the elements and ensure that no one is working on top of each other. Now, if you are working with ACC and you are storing your model in the cloud, you have these tools such as the publish settings that will allow you to select what you are sharing to the cloud. You may only want to highlight a default 3D view, or in some instances, you might want to show all of the views and sheets that you have in your model. Whichever way you feel best, you will have options to modify the settings. Now for this example, I'm just gonna use the previous set uh, to publish that information to the cloud. Now at the moment, this file is just stored as a cloud model. In order to follow the next steps, if I show you in the file tab, and if I were to use the save as option, I can see that the cloud model is grayed out. Again, that is a clear indicator that your model is hosted in the cloud, and it's ready to be uh, saved as a work shared model. Now, before you follow this step, you always want to ensure that the users that will be accessing this model have a BIM Collaborate Pro license. Once it is shared as a work shared model, it can no longer be reverted back. You would need to download the model and then essentially create a new central model. If you are following uh, the steps and you are ensuring that you have the Collaborate Pro license, you will have access to click on the Work Sets option. Now, when I select that dialog, it brings up this Enabled Work Sharing tab. And this is prompting me to select on these three ticks and we'll go through them now. It's letting me know that users that do not have a description, uh, sorry, subscription for BIM Collaborate Pro they won't be able to access it. A work shared cloud model cannot be reverted back to a non-work 
shared cloud model. So again, downloading and resaving. Very similar process to a model hosted on the server. And then lastly, it's letting us know to save your changes locally, click save, and to save the changes to the cloud, sync with central. Some of this may be um, basic for your Revit users. Now I'm going to select enable. I'm happy with those changes and I'm ready to save that as a work shared model to the cloud. Now on the first uh, time that you save the model, it may take a little bit longer, but moving forward, you will uh, just be saving your changes to the cloud. Now, if you want to take it to the next step, you can enable your work sets. And this is ensuring that users will not be working on the same elements at the same time. For now, I'm happy uh, with the default settings and I'm going to now select on my cloud model within ACC. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is go back to my docs environment. And again, you have your module selector in the top left corner. If I select on the work in progress area and now I scroll down to my site engineer folder, I can see that this is processing and the icon next to it has been updated. This is now letting me know this is a work shared cloud model. By saving a file within the same folder within the same name, you will have additional tools such as the version. So I can always track back each time that the file has been uploaded and the steps such as cloud model or even just a file that's stored within ACC. Now that might take a few minutes to process, but once again, if I refer back to my design collaboration swim lane, and I'm just going to expand these three dots, it will then highlight um, a new timestamp, which is showing as today, and it's letting the team know or other disciplines that I've shared a file. This file is available only in my work in progress area, but it's still capturing and tracking that activity. We will be taking you through additional videos to show and explain a bit further what these nodes indicate. So stay tuned to our next blogs, or you can always check out our YouTube channel uh, for more tips and tricks. Thank you.